Welcome to another Pokemon adventure. My name is Espy, and today we are talking about what the gyms could look like in Generation 9. Now I know there has not been much information released about this new Pokemon generation quite yet. I am just as eager as you are for some new info on this unnamed region. However, I think that there are some clues that tell us what amazing things we may have in store for us in the new generation. So let's get into it. First, I think we can look at one of the gym leaders from Generation 8 and get a hint as to what the gyms may look like in the upcoming generation. If we look at the fan favorite Galar gym leader, Raihan, we can see something very interesting. He is heralded as a dragon specialist and a dragon gym leader, but he really seems to focus on using the power of the Sandstorm Weather ability using Gigalith, Torkoal, and Sandaconda on his in-game teams. This may be a way to familiarize people with the idea of a gym leader that doesn't focus on a specific type of Pokemon, but rather a specific gimmick or class of Pokemon. Now let's take a look at some examples of what this could include. It could include terrain teams. Gym leaders could utilize the effects of terrains and Pokemon that benefit from them rather than just having a monotype team, such as utilizing Pokemon that benefit from the psychic terrain to overcome the opponent. We could have more weather teams like Raihan himself using weather and Pokemon that benefit from its effects rather than using Pokemon that simply are one style or one type. Next, we have one that would be extremely difficult and aggravating to overcome, gym leaders that focus on status effects and sub-status effects. This could include paralyzed, frozen, burn, poison, flinching, and attract. Imagine having a gym leader that uses attract to keep your Pokemon missing and then continually beats you down while you miss it over and over. We could even use Pokemon that look like other types to intentionally mislead opponents. Great examples of this include Gyarados or Florges. You could even use Pokemon that switch types. A team of Kecleon, Cinderace, Greninja, Pokemon with Conversion, or Reflect type. The list goes on and on. All these ideas would keep the spirit of gyms with a fun twist that may add a challenge. Generation 9 would be a fantastic generation to begin utilizing gyms like this as it will allow for much broader options in the future when it comes to gym leaders and their teams. I think we will also get to see something amazing in Scarlet and Violet that many fans have been wanting for many generations. The Pokemon Company has stressed one thing when it comes to Generation 9 in both their website and in their marketing. They want us to know that this game is going to be open world. They repeatedly tell us that this game will be open world, so they really want us to pay attention to that fact. It's mentioned several times on their website and several times in marketing for the game. However, the problem with a truly open world Pokemon game is, how do you balance the gyms? I think rather than making the game open world, but having the gyms still be in a locked order, is just to go full Kanto and allow the gyms to be defeated in any order the player chooses. Speaking of choices, you should hit that subscribe button below and check out my older videos, but if you don't, that's okay too. It's your choice, and I respect that about you. But back to the action. To allow this to happen, we have to take inspiration from the Pokemon Origins special episodes. In the very first episode, we see Red go up to face Brock, who asks Red how many badges he has received, and when Red replies with zero, Brock states that he will use these two specific Pokemon then, leaving four Pokeballs out of the Pokemon battle. That shows that in this universe, gym leaders will alternate their teams depending on the strength of the opponent. This is both an easy and reasonable solution to the open world method of Scarlet and Violet, and it allows not only many different experiences across all player types, but also creates a large replayability factor as people will want to restart and take on the new teams that each gym leader will choose, depending on their level. But what do you think they will do for this game's gym battles? Do you think either of these options will make for a fun playthrough? Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked this video, then check out this one where I covered the trainers that I want to see return in this new Pokemon generation. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you next time when the adventure continues.